What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today, Google has released Android Q Beta 2, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the new features. There aren't a ton of revolutionary new features, just some tweaks to the Beta 1 release, which I did review if you guys wanna check it out. I'll drop the link below. So let's get right into it, the things you're gonna notice. Uh, the first thing right off the bat is there is a new battery icon. It's kinda hard to tell on video, but the battery icon is now a lot bolder up here in the status bar. Uh, it might be a little easier to, to tell sort of on a lighter background, but it does match the material design theme a little bit more. That's a change that I noticed sort of right out of the gate. Um, let's get into the biggest change, which you're gonna notice right away, aside from that small visual one, and that is that Google has revamped gestures. Of course, they, in, they introduced uh, gesture navigation with Android Pie last year, which of course you can swipe up, get into your recent apps, sort of swipe through them. You've got the apps down here at the bottom. Now, one of the big complaints last year is that when you're in an app, for instance, like Chrome, that you couldn't swipe between apps like you can on iOS. Well, that's now been fixed. Uh, you can now swipe between any apps that you're using, just like you can on iOS down here at the bottom. Uh, you can see it's definitely not as fluid as on iOS. Uh, some of the animations are a little janky, to say the very least about it. Um, but it is a beta, so of course, hopefully they will work that out in the future. But you now do have new gestures where you can swipe between your apps here, right on the pill shape button at the bottom. Now, that hasn't fixed some of the other issues they have, um, like the weird back button, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's still right there on the side. Um, they could really replace a gesture-based solution uh, for the back button. I'd really like to see that in the next version, but we do have some improvement. It's obviously gonna take some getting used to because I had really gotten used to the gestures on Android Pie, um, but Android Q is gonna bring us something slightly new and uh, we just have to get used to it. That's the way Android is. Uh, some other changes aside from that really big one, uh, is volume slider. So in the volume slider uh, on Pi, they made it a little difficult to change the different types of media. But now if you hit the little button here at the bottom, it pops up this nice little volume pop out that lets you change the medium volume, the call volume, the ring volume, and the alarm volume uh, without going directly into settings, uh, which is really nice because that was a huge complaint of people uh, on the very first version of Pi last year. Uh, it looks like they fixed that a little bit, had a little bit of a change of heart. The next major change in Android Q Beta 2 is the ability to have a media slider uh, in your actual notification tray, so you actually have a slider for YouTube videos. So if I'm watching this video here from Tim Schofield, I can now scroll through the audio here, scrub through it very quickly actually within the notification settings, which is quick and easy. That's a nice little improvement, uh, something that I didn't even really think about that I actually wanted, but Google added something that adds extra functionality on top. Um, Google has added some additional functionality to the share menu. So now when you take a screenshot and you decide to share the screenshot, it's actually gonna show you a preview of what is being shared. So if I go into the share menu, you'll see right there a preview of the screenshot. And of course, they've also made the uh, sharing menu a little bit faster, easier to share with all of your apps, things like that. I did talk about that in the last video. But adding the ability for app developers to add a preview of exactly what's being shared is a nice thing. Uh, the other thing is when you actually take a screenshot now, it no longer shows the notch or the uh, cutout in a punch hole display. Uh, with the previous version of the beta, the notch was actually showed in the screenshots. Lots of people complained about that because it just looks kind of weird. Um, I wasn't personally a huge fan of it either, so kind of glad that they fixed that overall. The next change that you will notice on the Android Q Beta 2 is that if you go within notifications, you now have a way to change uh, what your swipe actions do. So if you go into notifications and tap on that, you'll see right here advanced, go in here, swipe actions, you can now change what swiping left and right does. So swipe left to dismiss, right to show the menu by default. Uh, you can also change that to swipe right to dismiss, left to show the menu. I know there are some people who are complaining about the way they implemented those actions in the past and wanting to have some choice over that. So now you do have a little bit of choice over how you implement swipe actions. Again, not a huge revolutionary thing. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is something that's actually not fully featured, but it was mentioned on the blog, and the guys over at 9to5Google actually dug into this a little bit more. You can actually enable what's called bubbles. It's basically Google's version of chat heads, if you guys remember that uh, from Facebook Messenger. I personally hate them, so I haven't enabled them yet on my version of 
the beta, but the guys at 9to5Google actually showed how you can use some uh, simple ADB commands to enable uh, these bubbles and play around with them. Like I said, it's basically a version of chat heads for messaging. Might end up getting branched out a little more in the future beta releases. I'll probably play around with it. If you guys are interested in seeing a video on how to do this with the ADB commands, uh, you can drop a comment below and let me know, and I'll try to go in a little more depth. But I'll definitely link the 9to5Google article below if you guys want to check it out. All right, so there are quite a few other things under the hood, like uh, support for foldable phones, like the Galaxy Fold. Uh, they also added a few other things, cleaned up the permissions manager menu and a few other things behind the scenes. Overall, it does seem a little bit more stable than the first version, but there are still some problems with the dark mode. Uh, for instance, some of the notifications still come out as being dark um, or completely white on white so that you can't read your notifications. Um, haven't had any issues with the app crashing yet. Only been running it for today, so I don't really know much about the battery life. Uh, still getting used to some of the notification things and like that. I will tweet out uh, over on Twitter a little update in a few days to let you guys know if this is uh, stable enough to run. My, my immediate thought is you probably shouldn't do it on your daily driver. I have multiple phones, so not a huge deal for me. But I'll definitely let you guys know. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop them below. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe if you did. You guys can find me at uh, Google+. Plus. Well, you actually can't find me at Google Plus anymore because it's dead now. Find me at Twitter and Instagram with the links in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video, I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.